All right, some continuation with materials. So right now we've shown you what a, a I press four. This is a thin, thin normal, uh, I guess, sphere. And this one is extruded. And so you can kind of see the difference a little bit. This one just has thickness. This one doesn't. And then we have our like pool ball looking thing. Now there's a way to kind of cheat this a little bit. I won't say cheat, but it just it just helps. But I don't think you should rely on it 100% because it's good to know how to make these objects. But if you click on this one, and let's say this one, I want to make Chrome. And you know what? I'll label it just to do it. Now we can say, what's Chrome? No, no, for this one, I'm going to do one more light, actually. So we have these two lights. Let's make uh, a, um, a, uh, a overall environment light so we can see a little bit better. Because right now, what we're looking at is if we go to this and we go to our Arnold render and we go to our camera shape, this is what we have. All right, this is our uh, this is our lighting. So we don't see anything in the back, but it, it makes sense, right? It's kind of like a dark room and we have these two lights in it. So let's stop this and let's make ourselves an overall environment light. So I'll go to Arnold lights and I'll go to Sky Dome light. So now, oh yeah, I'm in a locked camera. We have this big dome right here, right? Now we're gonna put something in it called an HDR light. Let's see what it looks like without anything though. So if I go to my Arnold render, it just gives us a, a white light coming from everywhere. Something else, I'm gonna press H to hide this. Just to show you the difference. And down here, we have this thing called a snapshot. If you click on this once, it'll store in this picture. Now, if I go over here, because remember, this is our new light I just made, and press H again to bring it back up. And I'll snapshot this one. So I can look at old one, new one. So this is how you can compare what you have, the two images. And to get rid of this, because right now it's just looking at that, we just click on this, and now we're back to our um our live viewport. If I go to perspective, F. Right. Okay, so let's say I want to see um. Hmm. I'm going to put this in an environment. So I'm going to make something called an HDRI, and I'll show you all how to find these. So I'm going to close this. Um, I already have a whole library myself, but I'll show you where to find these online. I'm going to go over here to color. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go to file. I'm going to click on this right here, and I'm going to go to... So I have a folder for the HDRIs, and I'm going to go to all right. This is Mount Washington Hotel, right? I'll double click on this, and what happens is this: Maya takes this image called an HDR image, and it converts it into a um, image is called .tx. You won't see this. I mean, if you have the image in your folder, it'll make another one. And .tx just means that it's, um, and what I mean by .tx, it just means that it's converted into an image that Arnold can read. So let's see what this looks like here. Now, if I have this and I go to my render, Arnold render, 
it's gonna take a while to convert, but there we go, right? So now let me just make this a little bit bigger. It's inside of it wraps the spherical spear spherical <laughs> image around the sphere. So where that light is coming from right there, that's gonna be like the sun, you know? And so we're gonna actually see that sunlight, be, it'll be brighter in this area because, you know, that's where the sun's coming from. Now I wanna see this, uh, well, let's go into our camera shape. So we see what it's looking like. And it's gonna have reflections from that environment now. So if I go over here to these two area lights, well, I'm, I'm going to disable them just so I can see the HDRI image. Now, there's two ways to do this. I can click on these, and I think I could press, just press H. Yeah, so if I press H, I'm hiding them, and this is just showing our, us the lighting from this HDRI image. So, so with the lights, without the lights. All right. Another way we can do this is we can go to Arnold and we can go to lights and we can go to utilities and go to light manager. And then this window pops up. So this is just a way to um, mess with our lights without, uh, well, you know, just seeing them all at one time. So these are the two area lights I made. It says enable, I can just disable. And sometimes this window comes in just like this, where you don't see that enable. So if you don't see it, you just have to either move this or move this, make it bigger. So I can just disable these two lights or just one light, just to see the effect it has. I can disable this light and see the effect on one. So I think y'all see what it's doing. So I'll just enable those two. All right, so this is where the HDRI is doing. And so if you wanna find more HDRIs, go to this site. Always go to this. Uh, S H A N G H A. Shagan Knights H D R I. So I just typed in Shanghai Knights H D R I. Um, but it goes. Let us call it H D R I Haven. Let's click on this on this. No, that's not right. Let me just do this. HDRI, H-A-D-E-N. Okay, HDRI Haven. And let's click on this. And it has all these different HDRIs, right? And all this is, uh, So what they do is they take, um, I, I won't even pretend I know the exact science, but I, I think I know pretty much what they're doing. So they have these chrome balls. That's a huge one. This, they're not that big. Oh, maybe they are that big. Okay. Yeah. So they take a picture of this and what it does is it captures the whole environment around it. So when you're watching Transformers or something like that, they put a whole bunch of these around uh, Chicago or uh, I'm thinking of the Transformers that came out years ago where they were destroying, uh, no, no, not Transformers. Um, he was Avengers? I can't remember. Anyway, um, one of those movies, they, they put a bunch of these around the city and they take these and this is the environment lighting. And then they do all the modeling and uh, you know put all the scenes together and they light it with these images. So wherever this image is, it's capturing the full environment around it and then you um, 
yeah, then all that lighting gets imported into your 3D scene, which is pretty cool. So you would want to get it from here. So let's just get one so you know how to make it. I mean, so you know where to get it. So I went to HDRI Haven. I guess it's called uh, Poly Haven now, but it used to be called HDRI Haven. And just to show you how to get one, let's go to, um, oh, they have a whole lot of them. So we can do studio, indoor, outdoor. Let's do outdoor, urban. I want something kind of grimy a little bit. Let's go to this one. We got some graffiti up in here. This looks cool, right? So to get this, I'll go to. All right, we have our download button right here. I like to do 2K or 4K, but let's see what it's doing. Let's just click on download. Okay, and there goes my file right there. And what I'll do is. I'll take this one and I'll just put it on my desktop. You should probably put it in a folder and have a few of those. So I'll put my downloads. Share screen. Yeah, so I just put it right here. I put this one on my, uh, on my desktop. Just so you can see. And now I'll go back into Maya. And I'll add this one. So I'll stop this. I already have this one. I could do another one and hide it, but I'll just stick with this one. So this right here is the color, right? When you make a file or you put a texture in anything, it comes up with this right here. So this is just saying, uh, this is gonna go to another location. So if I click on this, now I can um, go to the file and I can replace it. And just so you know, if you don't want to have a file or you put a texture somewhere and you wanna get rid of it, you just right click and you click on break connection. And now it's, you know, it's the way it was back to default. So I'll just click on this file. I'll go to file, go here and I go to my desktop. And we'll go to this. And it should make another file that says .tx to use with Arnold. Now let's see what it looks like. Go to Arnold, play. Takes a while to convert. But now it's in there, right? Now let's look at this. Oh, wait, we have to, it's in the camera shape. Let's go to perspective. So look, it's laid out just like we're in the area. It's a little reddish. Of course, you can experiment with a lot of these. So let's go back to our camera. And also, we can click on this and we can. Um, Go to the exposure and we can crank that up if it's too, too dim for us. It's too bright. I think by default it comes in on the zero. And also if you don't want to see the background, you just go over here to camera and we can just go to zero. And so it just shows the, uh, our objects and not the actual image. Okay. So let's make some new materials. Well, actually, I want to get another HDRI. I'm not feeling this one that much. So I'm just going to go to 
my area because I have a whole bunch of these. Just want to get something a little different. Okay, I like that a lot better. And finding the right HDRI to use in your scene can make all the difference in the world. And also, you can do this. If I select the sky dome, I can rotate it too. So right now, because remember, I'm in, I'm in my perspective. I can just press E for rotate, and I can rotate. And it'll give me different angles depending on how I rotate. So you just find like an angle you like. Like I like that. Cool. All right, so let's make a couple more materials. I'm gonna click on this right here. And let's make this one uh, chrome. I think I set it up, yeah. No, I didn't. Uh, so let's right click, assign new material. Actually, let me make sure I didn't already make that. I didn't make it, okay. So right click, assign new material. Click on Arnold, the yeah, standard surface. Looking at that one in particular. C H R O N E M T L. I just already have one. Um, let's make this chrome. Chrome is no color. Oh, look, now it's black ball. Um, metalness. We'll turn that up, I believe. Is that right? It's been a while, so let me chrome. Mm. Oh, okay. See, so we can adjust the, the chrome here. And if we go to roughness and we take roughness all the way down, what this does is now it turns into a mirror. So it's kind of like an HDI, you know? You see the sky reflections and we see this ball and the reflections. And also something about this window, if you click on one to one, it'll give you the, the real um, resolution of it. And that's something we'll get into later on with cameras. And the resolution right now, if we want to see, if we just want to see, we have just click on this button right here next to this little Pokemon ball. And um, the resolution is right here, HD 540. So if we want it to be higher, we can turn it up higher, but just keep it on HD 540 for now. So let's say I want to make this into like a, so it's now it's a mirror, but if I want to make it more Chrome-like, I can just increase the roughness. And now it's more like a brushed metal instead of uh, a mirror, because I'm adding roughness. And then I can go to the color if I wanted to tint it, I guess, if I wanted to make like a purplish chrome. Give a little pink tint. Ooh. I didn't solidify that. Yeah. And let's say I want something else to be chrome. I can just get something like a cone, let's say. Ooh. Or a scale.
Remember, all you got to do is right click, assign existing material, Chrome material. Go to Arnold, play. And now that's the same material. So you don't need to remake everything. OK. Um, so also, if I want to, it's better, good to know how to make materials. But let's say I want to make something real quick. There's presets. So I can go assign existing material. I mean, assign new material. Arnold, standard. What do I want this to be? And just let me look at these presets first. Let's say I want it to be, uh, I want this one to be blood. So let me do blood. Blood material. So I'll just click on here on these presets. And if I click on blood, and I want to click on replace. I don't want to do this 10% or add it in. I just want to completely replace it. So this has uh, material properties whatever blood is supposed to look like. And there it is right there. Let's click on this one. Let's name this one something else. Right click, assign new materials. Arnold. Let's do the skin one, right? Go to replace. Skin material. You have this. Now this is supposed to be like skin. Um, there's something called subsurface scattering, which means the light goes in and it kind of uh, scatters around. And if you look in here, you can see. Uh, what changes subsurface? So this is this. So let's say I want to make it a little bit more uh, browner, darker, I should say. Now I change this one. Now we got our skin material going. So let's see what they all look like, Graham. Even though we didn't do them all, let's just check it out. We can click this one to one. And so you can see what we're doing now, right? We have our pool ball, our glass, our chrome, our blood, this. And we could add some other materials to this. And if we want to add those lights back in, all we got to do is go to our utilities, light manager, we can press play, and let's just see what it looks like with those lights added back in. And lighting is like, a, um, you know, you kind of go back and forth with it because sometimes it can be like, all right, well, it's a little bit too bright. Like I can say that's a little bit too bright right here which is this light. And if I click on this, it goes straight to this light and I can turn down the intensity on it. You turn it up, turn it down, just be a full control. All right, and that's the introduction to materials and lights. I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. Um, well, let me stop this.